Hello world, welcome back to Accelerate and welcome back to the Triumph TT 600. Yeah, now today we're gonna try and make a custom tail tidy. Try being the optimum <laughs> word. So first of all, for us nerdy, not nerdy, uh, amateur bike folk yeah. like me, um, what is a <laughs> what is a tail tidy? Right, tail tidy, basically on the back of a bike you've got a massive, massive number plate. Yes, the legal requirement. Mm. Um, yeah, it's, well, yeah, yeah, it's for offer yeah, you yeah, Exactly, yeah. Um, you've got all this big plastic clunky stuff which holds these little tiny indicators in. So there's not actually a tail tidy I can find which is available for this bike. Yes. So we're gonna make one. Yes. But, so it's space it, it is purely cosmetic, it's a it's a personal taste thing, but you were right in saying the way these are designed now, it does make the bike look dated. It looks really dated. Also, this big red tail light, we're also going to replace with an integrated white LED. Yes. Light. So essentially, so. smaller plate, more modern looking light. We're gonna, the, the light will have the indicator. Oh, perfect. Yep. There you go. Uh, with the indicators integrated, it's just going to make that look a bit more streamlined. And what Kenny was saying, they don't actually offer this piece as a tail tidy for the Triumph. What I'm gonna try so, and do is mock something up. He's not happy unless he's custom making something. Yeah, I love it. Yeah. I've got a nail gun, worst case scenario. <laughs> so, <laughs> we will get it on this somehow. Oh yeah, so first, uh, well, we've got, yeah, that's pretty much everything. Number yeah, plates, a bracket there to work with. You have got bits and bobs, resistors and stuff. We'll run through absolutely everything with the guys, but I'm guessing the first step is... Let's strip it down. So strip it down. Behind it. Yeah. Yeah. So as you saw from the cinematics, it's very straightforward. That's one thing I've learned about bikes and I love already is they are relatively straightforward. Yeah. Bolt there, bolt there, throw there. five mil, I believe they are. Uh, yeah, ish. Allen yeah. keys. Yeah, so yeah. yeah, these are literally then just pushed on. There's a couple of little clips. You've got to be careful with these. You don't break them going into that rear tail section. Yeah, now, with most plastics and just be careful. They will be clips. Yeah. Firm but gentle. And like so, Kenny. <laughs> <laughs> I try, I try. <laughs> Yeah, so this one's going to be a little bit easier because it hasn't got the boot, sorry, the um, seat release on it. So that what? Like that. That's crazy. Look how much, look how naked the bike looks now. <laughs> yep, step just falling everywhere. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, the tail light is held on by four, what looks like eight. Yeah. So yeah, oh, we'll nice. pop them off now and we're going to have a look then underneath to see how this is held on. I can see a couple of little screws. This is where it's going to be. Yeah, we should say we've we've obviously never done this before. So like I said, a lot of this is going to be winging it. But hey ho, you can join us and hopefully we can help some of you guys out. Coochie coochie go! It's like we're going on the Civic People again. Know exactly right, like, so I'm not, I'm not to <laughs> That's magic with a few nuts and bolts. I have the bike stripped already, it's crazy. Cool, isn't it? Yeah. As I said, it's so easy to work on. I like bikes. Oh yeah, for those eagle-eyed among you, look what we've got here. The baby Harley Davidson, we're calling this. No, we're really not. Um, <laughs> offend all the bikers. Um, this is the first time I've been on a proper ride, so we're at Kenny's, which is a good... Look at the sun as well. Uh, which is a good 20-odd miles away. I survived! First ride of my own! Hell yeah! So, uh, I think we can call me a biker now. So, yeah, we are... <laughs> once 20, 20 miles. <laughs> wow. That's the initiation, isn't it? Yeah, that's what most people do a year. So <laughs> that. That's true. So, yeah, I fitted these a couple of weeks ago because the other ones were knackered. I was literally just about to say, they, they do look... They are. They do look modern, that's that's obviously why, because they're brand yeah, new. Yeah, and now they've been taken off. <laughs> it looked, if, if any of you have seen the, the Civic video, the short trip video, you'll know exactly what it's like. You just see something pretty and buys it, and then <laughs> thinks, I might already have them, or I might not need them. Yeah, well... Makes for good content, though, exactly, thanks, guys. Yeah, You're the only one keeping yeah. this channel going. I know, I know, you won't spend a penny for them. <laughs> I beg to differ. Yeah. Granted, it was the cheapest bike I could <laughs> find. I was going to say, yeah, hang on. It's the Kenny way! <laughs> Poor bike's just like, oh, I've been Kennified! Oh, no, not you again! <laughs> He's a butcher! The Civic's over there laughing, thinking, ha ha ha! It's not Sucker. just me. <laughs> yeah. And there's me, like, ah, oh, it's okay, it's okay. Yeah, right. Wow. Seven <laughs> by five I've bought. I don't yeah, know okay. what the standard one's supposed to be. But come on, but you, you can't, can't just say, play ignorant this You one. can't say that that's not, not readable. Yeah. <clears throat> 
Just, I'm sure that, that'll hold up in court. Right, yeah. Come on, so, come on, come on guy. You can you read that? Oh. If you can't read that, you shouldn't be on the road, exactly. in fairness. Baby, you me, I am fine. Yeah, at least I didn't realise the tail piece, or whatever you want to call it. Yeah, it goes quite far back, actually, well, isn't it? That's why I think there's no available tail teddy for it. It's not just a simple... But, uh, Kenny's noticed already, it's a bit bigger than we thought. <laughs> I'll keep it clean. Um, so we may have to get the any excuse to get the sort out. We may have to be genuinely custom stuff going on. Yeah, yeah. Like when he's deep in thought. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm trying to work out how this is going to work because that whole section is part mm. of the under under tray. Oh, oh yeah. So it's, it's so, a lot bigger than we thought. <laughs> we gotta we gotta grow up and then uh, we won't. But so on initial inspection, like we said, we, we were hoping this was a separate piece, but it's not, so it goes all the way under there. So I think it might be better to do in situ if we can. Yeah, I just want to remove them just to see if it does give me any more. But yeah, the plan will, is, yeah, it'll give me a little bit more leeway. Yeah, because it'll drop slightly now, right? Yeah. So and the oh, okay, yeah. Oh, that's much better. Yes. So, so now I get something in yeah, we're gonna trim sort of. We need to keep something there to mount. The number plate mount too, but yeah, the idea is I'm gonna try and come up and around here. Yeah. And then just try and maybe leave that. Yes, yeah, so you've got something there. Yeah, there. so we've got something to mount the L bracket too. Yeah. So hey ho, if <laughs> this works, it does, it doesn't it? I am around the plate. <laughs> <laughs> That's that cut. No going back now. <laughs> That's perfect timing. Let me get some cool cinematics as he yeah, snaps the blade. I was gonna say. Well, at least it helps her to go around the corner on the next <laughs> That's one. That's true. And just so you know, guys, I am helping. <laughs> <laughs> I can even say that with a straight face. Come oh, so close. Oh my god. So close. Come on, come on. Come on, you can do it. Yeah. Nice do we just need one more effort off you, man? <laughs> Luckily, we got like an inch. <laughs> that, apparently, that makes all the difference. So <laughs> <what> I did. <laughs> It's so sorry for itself already. <laughs> I don't think it's made with making tail tidies on bikes. This whole bike. What? <laughs> My bike! <laughs> you. Oh, shit. oh hang on, it's hang okay. on. <laughs> I was about to do that anyway, you're lucky. I know, I know you were. <laughs> Alright, anyway, <laughs> back to business. Oh, I, th I thought you were going to cut like there. Probably should have. I, yeah. You can always take more off, it's a lot harder to put back on. Didn't they teach me in school? And arts no, and crafts? I never went. Oh yeah. <laughs> we can <could> tell. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Wow. Oh yeah, I probably should have. Yeah, yeah. We'll, we'll, we'll take it somewhere. I told you about nail gun. Apparently I'm the, I'm the idiot. You are. Yeah. It's nothing to do with the <laughs> It's just in life. <laughs> oh. Hmm? The hole's in the... What the? See what I've done? I custom you, done this before you come up here. You so planned this, have so you? I'm so lucky. Just to try and make, yeah, this is how lucky Kenny is. We always take the mic, but wow. <laughs> well, yeah, right. I <laughs> never get any of that. Like that. That's insane. So that's, that's... I know. yeah, just to show, this was the, bra what is this from? I don't know. Just something, right? one of those I've things kept, rather than, yeah, yeah. I think it was when I built the, when I put the uh, garage door. See these sheets I made, because obviously I wanted to reinforce. No I think way. they were on that as like a handle. Yeah. <laughs> I see, it's always worth keeping stuff. Yeah, always but metal work, always keep yeah. metal work. You never know when you need Kenny's top tips. I mean, you could literally get a bit of metal, bend yeah. it, measure where the holes are and drill them. It's that simple. No? Yeah. We like simple. <laughs> it's class. I think we looked at me then when you said we like simple. <laughs> I'm glad he takes the hint. <laughs> right, yeah, I just need to drill these out slightly just to make sure these um, the, the screws fit through them. I'm having one of those days as well. <laughs> Late night. I know. So yeah, um, yeah. You're basically, just gonna drill them out, and hopefully then. <laughs> I said to Kenny, "Can you give us a quick run?" Though? Yeah, these holes and screws. So basically, guys, <laughs> I'm drilling them out. I don't know what you want me to say. It's not exactly hard, is it? <laughs> don't ask why the Jurassic Park theme's playing in the background. So Kenny's awesome custom work. Active aero, bruh. Yeah, take them up first. Ah, that's right, yeah. That's right. <laughs> just, just checking. Yeah. It's rear bracket is now secured. So, so I'm gonna try and fit this now, which is the bracket for the tail light. Yep. Obviously, it hasn't lost any sort of structural rigidity through that. 
and no, you just, just cut off all the flap at the bottom. It's, and yeah, and it's all plastic anyway. So, <laughs> so taking the wiring harness off the well, the original wiring harness, obviously. Yeah, and obviously you've got one connector there because it's just the tail light and stop. Obviously, you don't need one of ah, them. So that's, well, yeah. that's to do with the indicators, then. Yeah, it? that's to do with the stop and tail. Right. So obviously, because it's one light now instead of two bulbs, you're in. Oh, bulbs. right. Sorry, I thought. Yeah, yeah, I thought there was dual filament bulbs. <laughs> Wiggy, <Wiggy. laughs> um, Yeah. So these are the indicator ones. Oh, I'm th not sure how it hurts. I'm gonna have to double check now because these are the relays you need to run as well. Obviously, LED needs a resistor of some sort. Not a Didn't think of all that. Yeah. It's okay. It won't take long. Now the original lights had studs and obviously put nuts on the end. This one. It's just got threaded holes, so you need to get four bolts, or oh. <laughs> X amount of bolts, or whatever. <laughs> whatever you can find, Yeah, in my case. Rummage through the garage. So, a problem we've just come across, as you can see, yeah, the circles there, that sort of helps locating for the mounting of the light. Uh, it didn't quite sit right in there, so what Kenny's doing now is basically boring the hole out a bit more to make the mounting points match. I got very close to the drill in. <laughs> <laughs> you don't want to get too close to Kenny with the drill. No, I will not stop. But we knew there was going to be a bit of custom fabrication, but hey, happy boy! Do. Happy boy! Look, every time we work on one of your vehicles, we end up cutting it up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you don't try to stop me either. <laughs> Yeah, so it was trying to explain basically the locating holes there were only a couple of mil, weren't they? A couple yeah, of mil off. Yeah, just a couple, yeah. It was where the belt it. holders are. So, yeah, we've done that now, and now it lines up. Accelerate fabrications. It is mounted! Moment of truth. Does it work? Hey! What's that break? Have That's the break. Side light? Oh, yeah. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> That's not what we want to see. Oh, hang on, that's because I wasn't using the side light. There you go! <laughs> he is a bike dog, I, I promise. I don't very often, as you can see, I haven't even ridden it a couple of times. Brake light, please. Awesome. It's bright. It is, yeah. Yeah? No flicker or anything, that's, that's cool. It works. Where are the indicators then? Oh yeah, foot brake yeah, down as well. The, uh, I, just, I just don't know where, and they must be tucked in the side maybe. Yeah. Who knows? I think they're actually in the same bulb. Oh, okay, ah. Yeah. So, as you can see, they're obviously very easy. The main light is plug and play. So you route the wiring back through, plug it into your main harness. Yeah. The only thing that's going to need a bit of tampering. Uh, that's pushing it. Isn't it? it is a little bit, yes. So indicator lights, uh, indicator wires are here. Factory ones there. So it's just a case of James bonding them together. And yeah, extending them. Then again, if you use a resistor. Oh, that's a very good point. Kenny just made a good point. If you are running resistors, they might give you enough length to fit. Right, so we've wired that up, obviously temporary just to see. So that's your resistor. So this should in theory... Ah, oh, mint. Mint. And it's clicking as it should. Oh, yeah. wicked. Ah. That's the good thing with LED. That is... I'm not sure how bright it is. Oh, yeah. Great. It works! Yes! So at least now we know it is that simple for the wiring. So now we're... Yeah, let's just wire it back up now and put it back together. We are pretty much done. Well, it all works. We've just <laughs> checked it. Um, indicators, let's give you a... Ch check me out working this bike because I know how to work them now. <laughs> so we've got left indicator, right indicator. Uh, side lights and obviously the brake light which we know so that's pretty much yeah. now number plate you've got a couple of ways of, uh, different ways of mounting what we are going to do is just get the good old good quality adhesive tape and stick yep. it on yep and then put it back together I, I can't wait to see this all together it's pretty cool voila sir all done. How good is that look though? That does look. All right, apart from the thing needing painting, but the actual yes, light and the... let's not the focus on that. No, but no, no. The, okay. the before and after, I mean, that is... That's so much... <laughs> they tidier. Yeah, yay! Yeah. There we go. And it's mad thinking there's not any available for this, so a bit of custom wear. And when you say custom, usually it's like, oh, it's a bit daunting, but that was... It didn't take long at all. That really it? wasn't bad, was it? No, exactly. That bracket I had fitted perfect, man, didn't it? Yeah, it does help if you've got a bracket <sighs> here. But like I said, worst yeah. case, if you've got a bit of metal, it is literally just a case of measuring, cutting, yeah, drilling. Yeah, like I said, drill it in, and there's two slots there which you can put the screws through. It's, it's, so it's even as easy as an that. absolute amateur like me 
<laughs> could do this with Kenny's help probably. Yeah, yeah. But that's the tail end done. Uh, very happy with the lights and everything, all functioning with the resistors, which yeah. is always good with LEDs because they can be a pain. That's right, yeah. But yeah, we, cool. actually, yeah, stay tuned because the next video is going to be an interesting one, even for you non-bike people. We are remapping this thing. Yeah, now there's a problem with these between like three to four and a half thousand RPM. It's a known fault. Yep. Everyone knows about it. Even when it. they were new. Yeah, now I bought something to fix that. Yes, hopefully. So, so we yeah, will get we'll, stuck we'll, in yeah, that. Yeah, we'll get into that next time. And we're going to be taking these two. It's the first time they've been on together. No, not Uncle Phil, don't worry. Nah. <laughs> um, but yeah, so anyway, stay tuned, guys. That's the uh, tail end done for now. Next one's going to be the map, so stay tuned. But thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. I'll see you in the next one. Woo!